Dawn Babbitt has well and truly arrived. I car camped last night near Loch Inver and it was a lot more sheltered that side. Just driven on the north shore of Loch Assint and it is blustery. There were felt trees and all sorts along the way. Now that puts me in a little bit of a quandary because I am not entirely sure what to do today. I want to explore an area I've been meaning to go to for a while. There's a waterfall, I can't remember its name, just north of Loch Assint. Um, and with any luck it will be in a gorge and it will be a little bit more sheltered so I'm going to drive up that way first and see whether there's any opportunity to take a walk around there I'm not sure without my 24 to 70 whether there are any compositions there Off we go to explore a waterfall then Cue epic drone footage in 3, 2, 1 I'm not flying the drone in this just stepped out to get some b-roll and the car door almost ripped off and so I'm facing, facing backwards to the wind so closing it getting back in was an absolute mission. I just realised that it's not raining despite um, all of the drips on the windshield. Um, it's in fact just water being blown up from Loch Sin by this wind. It's absolutely insane. I can't go out in this. The danger of flying debris is high. I'm going to pop and see this valley with the waterfall and then I'm going to get out of Dodge and shelter for the day. Someone parking up. Someone has the same idea. At least I'm not the only idiot. It's a real shame that it's too windy to get out of the car on some of these higher points because the sunrise is just beautiful. Lovely pastel pinks and blues. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of the car, assemble my gear and just see what it's like a little way into the gorge. I don't think there's gonna be any photography going on, but this is just a, a little scouting mission. And then I'm going to retreat to somewhere sheltered and warm with haggis, hopefully, or cullen skink, something delicious. Right, I'm going to get on with this. Oh, wow, that's a relief. Oh. So I was hoping that the gorge would be a little bit more sheltered, but as it was, it was channeling the wind down it and really difficult conditions to film in. My Zoom audio recorder, dead cat, just flew off. So if anyone finds that, please bin it for me. Or if it's not too mangled, you can use it. It is an absolutely gorgeous day though. I mean, 
I wish I had a weatherproof suit because you could get some incredible photos. There are rainbows everywhere. The light on the mountains is magical. It's absolutely fantastic. There's been a few people who've tried to hike down the gorge to see the waterfall. There's a German couple who I chatted to for a little while. They wandered in and then turned back pretty sharpish. It would have been sensible for me to do the same, but uh, just really, really wanted to explore that area and uh, kind of braved it. Standing up against the wind was difficult though. It was, it was even harder coming, coming back. I had to lean back into it. You had to really secure your footing with each step. Not good weather at all. There is a red weather warning in place and I have booked an Airbnb for tonight to get out of the storm. Um, it's already looking super dangerous. I've got about a 50 minute drive. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive down to Ullapool. I need to charge my batteries and offload some footage. I might also hit a restaurant tonight because man cannot live on Garibaldi and Tunnock's Caramel alone. I'm all checked into an Airbnb. I don't know if anyone else gets this as well, but when you're outside doing a hobby like photography, especially in bad weather, the friction of my hands against the dials, tripod locks. And then in the evening, you're camping, you're making food, you're you're cutting things up. You know, it's all it's all kind of rough work. It just leaves me with torn up skin. I don't know how our ancestors would have survived. The amount of cuts and scrapes I've got, I've used Savlon. You know, if I didn't have that, they'd get infected. Had a bit of a hairy moment earlier where I thought I deleted a whole day's worth of video. Luckily, I'd already backed that up, so that was a relief. It's already quite stormy at Ullapool. Not as bad as it was at Locker Sint, but I will have a wander around later, maybe find a restaurant. I've never really been to Ullapool before, so I do fancy a little bit of an explore. Despite my misgivings, I carried my 24-70 for the waterfall shoot. I wasn't sure if the scratches would show in real application editing, but now that I have seen the shots, both from Aknaherd Beach and from this waterfall, I kind of wish I'd trusted it more. Clearly, it needed repairing. You never know when a blemish will ruin a perfect shot. But the lens worked fine here, and I could have done with it on my hike to Loxjonaskeg, where I had to crop my 20mm composition to make the visual flow work well. Alt Krani is translated as Wailing Widow Waterfall on Google Maps. This name seems apt, judging by my experience battling the gale to hike in. Given the appalling conditions, this composition works well enough. If I had taken some more time to compose, I could have made a very nice image here. In hindsight, I wish I'd waited in the gorge for another 10 minutes. I'm pretty certain that one of the rainbows that appeared as I got back to the car would have lined up nicely in the gap behind the tree. But truth be told, this is probably one to bear in mind for the future. Unfortunately, the gorge doesn't align north, so it doesn't tick the box for shooting the northern lights. But it will be on my astro list for a clear night. A blue hour low contrast shot would work well here too, preferably with less wind. On my next trip to Ascent, I want to check out the locks further north of here. There are some warm looking bothies, so I'll plan a hike and an overnight stay to explore more fully. This was my last full day of the trip, but I do take a detour through Glencoe to avoid Storm Babette and get some photos along the way. Tune in next week to see how that went.